We never ever thought about going to this level till this opportunity came up. And when this opportunity hit, it all of a sudden changed the way we thought about how this STEM Academy could move forward. All of a sudden we try to give these kids an experience in high school in an environment that was similar to the environment they might be working in college, in the workplace, how they'd be working in those spaces. We, want, we thought, okay, we can, we can do this. We can now make this a realization. This room was specifically designed so all teachers had access to a space. So this room isn't specific to any teacher. It's a room specific to the school. And we wanted this particular space to allow kids to do a lot of different things. If I am not high tech, there's a place for me to go be comfortable and not be bothered by the fact that I don't know how that technology works. Or if I don't like to work in groups, can I still be in this space and work by myself? You sure can. We designed all of that from low tech to high tech to large group to small group in this room alone. Ms. Kasky's room is designed strictly for the math that's taught in that room. And it's just a model classroom to help other teachers and other schools that are maybe thinking about this idea of what the, the governor's office has really put out there for us, this challenge of how do we think about learning environments. And so every room has a different flavor, but they all have a similar flavor. And that was intentional, and it will be for every room hereafter. That will be an intentional piece of, oh, I can tell I'm in a STEM room. Okay, so here is... A Mr. Knee's room is our Project Lead the Way classroom. That room was the quintessential 1960s in a cubicle by myself. So we broke those walls down. We took, we literally removed every cubicle in there and spread it wide open and said, wait a minute, we need like a maker space. We need space where kids can spread out. This environment has really changed the way we teach because it's all project based now. So instead of just uh, showing the students pictures in a textbook on how something would work. Now we can actually uh, assemble and create an authentic project. I like to work with others and I like to be able to talk to my friends while I'm working. And this is better for that. But we've been uh, 3D modeling things and building stuff in this class. And that's, that's kind of what I've been doing for my game for software design as well. So now they can take it from the computer and create the 3D model on the computer and now we can actually go print out a prototype of that 3D model and make it real. And so they're not just looking at it virtually on the screen but now they're actually looking at a real model that was generated by them and printed out on a 3D printer which has been huge. Uh, it just kind of brings the learning full cycle. It actually has them uh, work as real engineers within the classroom. That's what it's about. It's about keeping kids attached to schools and attached to their own learning and to, to just make it better. And that's the bottom line.